Sha Carey Richardson has just blown everyone away with her latest performance, clocking an incredible 10.71 seconds in the 100-meter dash at the 2024 Olympic qualifiers. This stunning feat not only secured her spot in the Paris Olympics, but also reminded the world why she's the fastest woman on the planet. Remember when she was controversially suspended and missed the Tokyo Olympics? Now, she's back with a vengeance. Can anyone stop this unstoppable force on her quest for Olympic gold? Shakari Richardson's journey to becoming the fastest woman in the world is nothing short of remarkable. Born on March 25th, 2000 in Dallas, Texas, Richardson's passion for running began at a young age. She quickly made a name for herself in high school track, showcasing her incredible speed and fierce determination. Her talent didn't go unnoticed, and she went on to compete for Louisiana State University, LSU, where she continued to break records and turn heads. Richardson's rise to fame truly took off at the U.S. Olympic Trials in 2021. This was her moment to shine, and she didn't disappoint. In a stunning display of speed and power, she dominated the women's 100-meter race, crossing the finish line in just 10.86 seconds. Her victory not only secured her a spot on the U.S. Olympic team, but also made her a household name overnight. Her vibrant personality and striking orange hair only added to her appeal, making her an instant favorite among fans and media alike. Richardson's dreams of competing in the Tokyo Olympics were abruptly shattered when she tested positive for marijuana. The U.S. Anti-Doping Agency handed her a one-month suspension, which meant she would miss the Olympics. The news was devastating, both for Richardson and her supporters. She had been through so much already, including the recent loss of her biological mother. The suspension was a heavy blow, and Richardson expressed her sorrow and disappointment on social media, capturing the hearts of many who sympathized with her struggle. The public reaction to Richardson's suspension was overwhelmingly supportive. Many people argue that marijuana should not be grounds for disqualification, especially considering the circumstances. Fans, celebrities, and fellow athletes rallied behind her, using hashtags like Shakari Run to show their solidarity. This outpouring of support highlighted not only Richardson's popularity, but also the broader conversation about the fairness of drug testing policies in sports. Richardson's spirit remained unbroken. She channeled her disappointment into determination, adopting a new mantra. I'm not back, I'm better. This phrase symbolizes her growth, resilience, and readiness to take on the world once more. Her journey from the devastation of missing the Tokyo Olympics to her triumphant return at the 2024 Olympic qualifiers is a testament to her strength and unwavering dedication to her sport. Shakori Richardson's journey back to the top of the track world is nothing short of inspirational. After the heartbreak of missing the Tokyo Olympics, Richardson adopted a new mantra that encapsulated her resolve and growth. I'm not back, I'm better. This phrase isn't just a catchy slogan, it's a reflection of her transformation both on and off the track. When Richardson says she's better, she means it in every sense. She's become stronger, more focused, and more resilient. This mindset has been the driving force behind her rigorous training regime, her dedication to mental health, and her overall performance. Richardson's training sessions became more intense and focused, incorporating not just physical drills, but also mental conditioning. She began working with sports psychologists to strengthen her mental fortitude, learning to channel her emotions into her performance. This holistic approach has paid off, as seen in her recent performances. She's not just running faster, she's running smarter, with a clear head and a determined heart. The culmination of all this hard work was on full display at the 2024 Olympic qualifiers. Richardson's performance in the women's 100-meter race was nothing short of spectacular. She didn't just win the race, she dominated it, clocking in at an incredible 10.71 seconds. This time, not only secured her a spot in the Paris Olympics, but also cemented her status as the fastest woman in the world. Watching her race, you could see the difference in her technique and form. She was more explosive off the blocks, her stride was smoother, and her finish was stronger than ever before.
Comparing her performance to previous races, it's clear that Richardson has reached a new level. Her times have consistently improved, but what's even more impressive is her precision and consistency. In the past, there were moments of brilliance, but now there's a steadiness to her excellence. It's not just about raw speed, it's about mastering every element of the race, and Richardson has done just that. The reactions to her performance were electric. Fans erupted in cheers, thrilled to see their favorite sprinter back and better than ever. Social media was ablaze with praise and admiration. Critics, who once doubted her return, were now singing her praises. Fellow athletes also took note, with many expressing their respect and excitement for her upcoming races. Richardson's comeback story has become a beacon of hope and determination for many, proving that setbacks are just setups for comebacks. Shakari Richardson's return to the track is exciting, not just because of her brilliance, but also because of the fierce competition she faces. Among her key competitors is Sharika Jackson, a formidable sprinter from Jamaica. Jackson has consistently been one of Richardson's toughest rivals, known for her speed and powerful finishes. Their matchups have always been thrilling, with each race adding to the suspense of who would come out on top. At the 2023 World Athletics Championships, Richardson won the 100-meter dash, while Jackson triumphed in the 200-meter event. These head-to-head -head battles have pushed both athletes to new heights, creating a rivalry that fans eagerly follow. Jackson's recent announcement that she will not compete in the 100-meter dash at the Paris Olympics has significant implications for the race. Jackson decided to focus on her specialty, the 200-meter dash, citing concerns about her body and the need to avoid injuries. This decision shakes up the field, opening the door for new podium contenders and altering the dynamics of the competition. While Jackson's absence in the 100 meters is a loss for fans hoping to see another epic showdown, it also means that Richardson's path to gold might be slightly less challenging, though by no means easy. As we look ahead to the Paris Olympics, the potential podium contenders are an exciting mix of seasoned athletes and rising stars. Richardson, with her recent performances and fastest time this season at 10.71 seconds, is undoubtedly a favorite for gold. Her technique, speed, and mental toughness make her a formidable competitor. But she will face stiff competition from athletes like Julian Alfred, who has shown impressive form this season, and veterans like Shelly Ann Fraser-Price, whose experience and track record make her a perennial threat. Richardson's journey has been marked by significant personal growth and resilience. She has faced numerous challenges, from the tragic loss of her biological mother to the public scrutiny following her suspension from the Tokyo Olympics. These setbacks could have derailed her career, but Richardson used them as fuel to come back stronger. In interviews, she has spoken candidly about her struggles and how she has learned to manage them. I'm not back, I'm better, she declared, emphasizing that her growth extends beyond her athletic performance to her overall well-being. Her handling of adversity has been nothing short of inspiring. Richardson's openness about her mental health and the pressures she faces has resonated with many showing a side of athletes that is often hidden. She has become a voice for resilience and the importance of mental health, especially in high-pressure environments. Her quotes, like, I'm better at being Shakari, I'm better at being myself, reflect a deep self-awareness and commitment to personal growth. Public perception of Richardson has evolved significantly from the time of her suspension to her triumphant return. Initially, there was a mix of disappointment and support when she was barred from the Tokyo Olympics. However, the overwhelming sentiment was one of empathy and encouragement. Social media played a crucial role in this, with hashtags like hash let Shakari run, trending as fans and public figures rallied behind her. This support has only grown with her recent performances, as people admire her resilience and determination. Richardson's influence extends beyond her performances on the track. She has become a role model for younger athletes, particularly black female athletes, who see in her a powerful example of perseverance and excellence. Her story is one of overcoming obstacles and rising above challenges, which has inspired many in the sports community and beyond. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.